Getting in early is the most profitable strategy in crypto. Whilst most newbies are looking for cryptos they can buy right now, the pros are looking at what cryptos are coming out in the next few months. Because when you know what's coming, you can farm airdrops, get into pre-sales, or buy in the first week or so of release before the hype starts. So today I'm going to talk about three upcoming crypto projects I'm most excited about. The last one is probably doing a huge airdrop, which I'll explain how to farm. So make sure you watch till the end. But before we get started, let me remind you that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This video is not intended for residents of the United Kingdom. Crypto assets are classified as restricted mass market investments in the UK, meaning that they are high risk investments and are not suitable for retail investors. If you reside outside of the UK, let's get started. Whenever I do one of these videos, I get asked, where do I buy? These aren't released yet, so you can't buy them right now. But when they do release, they will likely all be available on Bybit. And if you use my link to sign up to Bybit below, not only do you get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but every month you get a chance to win thousands of dollars through my referral sharing program. I call it Ref Sharers. I share income from referral links back with you guys. So sign up to Bybit with the link below. Now, let's talk about the upcoming cryptos. We're going to kick things off with the project I am the most excited about. I think this one is going to be huge. Aether. This is one of the very few crypto projects that has a strong real world use case. Aether is a GPU cloud for gaming and AI. That sounds kind of boring, so let me tell you why it isn't. AI is powered by GPUs, and with AI growing at a rapid pace, we are seeing the demand for GPUs outpace supply. The computational power of GPUs has all of a sudden become a scarce resource, to the point that the US is trying to cut China off from it and it's causing serious geopolitical tensions. Nvidia is the world's top GPU provider and their stock value did a 5x from January 2023 to January 2024. For the stock market, that is some insane growth. It's now the fourth largest company in the world. But what does this have to do with crypto? Well, Aether has a lot of GPUs and they are now the cheapest solution for selling cloud GPU compute power to other companies. If you run an AI startup, instead of buying GPUs, which are expensive pieces of hardware, you can rent GPU compute from Aether. But this isn't just for AI companies. Gaming companies need this resource too. So there is a huge demand for GPU compute outside of crypto, and a lot of that demand is going to go to Aether because they have great pricing. But Inside of crypto, massive projects like BitTensor, which is a $4 billion market cap project, need Aether to expand. That's why I'm so bullish on this project. Unlike most crypto projects, this has a real world use case and real world demand from one of the fastest growing industries right now, AI. Now, full disclosure, I am an investor in Aether. How could I not be? I'm trying to secure an airdrop for my Discord community. If you want a chance to get in on this, join my Discord today. Aether will have a node sale soon, and that will be one of the best opportunities to get in early. Follow this channel, turn notifications on, and keep up to date with Aether. Oh, and one last thing about Aether. It's multi-narrative, which is something I really like. It's AI, gaming, and deep in. All three of these are huge narratives. Speaking of multi-narrative projects, the next project I'm excited for is Eclipse. Let's play a game called Count the Hot Narratives. I'm going to tell you a bit about Eclipse. You count the narratives and list how many hot narratives in a comment below. Eclipse is a parallelized layer 2, which means it uses the best parts of several chains to make it a super fast, cheap and efficient layer 2. They are a ZK rollup based Ethereum layer 2 that uses ETH for security, Celestia for data availability, and the Solana virtual machine for its raw speed and massive scaling potential. Okay, how many hot narratives did you count? Pause this and write it in a comment below. If you said three or four, you're right. Parallelized layer 2s are a hot narrative. ZK rollups and anything Solana related. You could also argue that Celestia is a fourth, but this isn't purely a narrative play because these are fleeting. Eclipse is cutting edge tech 
and I think it will be one of the top layer twos of this bull run. Right now, there is no hype around it because they haven't started marketing. It's just techie stuff, but I'm pretty confident they will do an airdrop and the hype will build to a fever pitch after the halving. And I also think a lot of projects will want to build on Eclipse, so the ecosystem should be thriving. The final project I'm excited about is Particle. If you've been in crypto for a while, you know how much of a pain all the different chains we have to use are. You probably have 10 different chains in your MetaMask with ETH and USDT sat on Arbitrum, Base, AVAX, Manta, and who knows where else. It's a confusing mess for me, and I've been doing this for years. So for a newbie, it will be overwhelming. But it's easy for us crypto natives to forget just how complex and intimidating crypto is. Bridging, cross-chain swaps, wrap tokens, stake tokens, a new chain every week. It is enough to make you scream. And then we talk about mass adoption as if it makes sense that normal people will ever trust their life savings to this completely disjointed shit show that we call DeFi. <laughs> they won't. 95% of people will take one look at DeFi and say, no way, give me a bank and peace of mind any day. And that's sad because I want crypto to grow which is where Particle comes in. Imagine how much easier it would be to onboard the next billion people into crypto if you had one wallet to rule them all. You don't need to mess around with adding and switching chains to interact with DeFi apps. You don't need to pay gas fees in ETH, you can pay them in USDT or whatever else. You have features like social login to create a wallet in seconds with any social media account. You might not like the sound of social login. I don't, but I can guarantee it will onboard a lot more users to crypto. Particle is making crypto wallets a lot more user-friendly. They're making it so easy for anybody to get into DeFi and they are speeding up mass adoption. I use my Particle wallet quite a bit and it is the best wallet I've used in crypto. It removes a lot of those little annoyances we deal with day to day. That's why I'm very bullish on Particle. They have a token coming soon and there will likely be an airdrop for users of the wallet. Using it is a no-brainer, guys. It's the most user-friendly wallet out there. It takes seconds to create one and you might get a nice airdrop out of it. It doesn't need to be your main wallet, but you have nothing to lose by making one and using some of the bridging and swap features in there. And that's it team, three upcoming projects I'm really excited about. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button, it really helps. If you wanna watch another cool video, check out my crypto gaming portfolio. For now though guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.